New tonight, can psychedelics improve your mental health? There's been a lot of talk about them. Remember the scare on an Alaska Airlines flight last month. It led to an off-duty pilot facing attempted murder charges after being accused of trying to shut off the engines mid-flight. Court documents say he told police he had been struggling with depression and took psychedelic mushrooms about 48 hours before this happened. While preliminary studies suggest psychedelics may help relieve PTSD and anxiety, researchers say there are risks to consider along with the potential benefits. Even though psilocybin and psychedelics have been around for decades, there tends to be this debate right now about whether or not the recreational use is so risky that we can't look further into the potential treatments, especially for mental health conditions. There are safety risks when using psychedelics that could even worsen a person's medical condition, and the risks can be even greater if used outside of a controlled research environment. They could feel something such as nausea, dizziness, headache, vomiting. Some people experience paranoia, disorientation, and some individuals who have certain underlying medical conditions could actually see an exacerbation of that, such as an increased heart rate, hypertension. Right now, Oregon and Colorado are the only states to legalize magic mushrooms, with several cities across the country opting to decriminalize some psychedelics. I think the future is bright in terms of the ability for psychedelics to be used to treat a host of mental health conditions in a controlled setting. Where I think we're going to run into some unknowns is what states are going to do in terms of decriminalization, legalization, and how we keep people safe who should not be touching those medications. The drug is still illegal under federal law. As a mental health treatment, many doctors say more research is needed to answer questions like how much is safe to consume and by whom before widespread prescribed treatment.